So apparently 50% of the world eats pasta two to three times a day. And if you're walking around with low energy or you're hungry or you have irritability, weakness, trembling, diarrhea, sweating, chances are you're eating bad pasta. And I'm just gonna show you a hundred very simple tips for how you can make your pasta go from looking like this to looking like this. First thing you need to know is how to read the directions on the box. Almost any pasta box will have a direction that looks something like this. Boil 11 to 13 minutes. So you're probably saying, well, what is it, 11 or 13? What they're looking for is the number in between. So in this case, it'd be 12. If it says boil six to eight minutes, that's gonna be seven. Um, if it says boil three to four minutes, that's three minutes and 30 seconds or three and a half. I don't know why they do it this way. I guess it's just to keep, you know, amateurs out of the kitchen or whatever, but um, it's just something that you need to know. How many times has this happened to you? You go to a friend's house and they ask if they can make you pasta and you say, sure. And in order to fit the pasta into the pot, they break it in half. And you're like, I'm not eating broken pasta. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you a method that's gonna work a lot better. We're just gonna take our pasta and put it in the pot. And of course, a lot of it's sticking up. We're not gonna break it. What we're gonna do is if you just wait like, you know, five seconds, it's gonna soften. Sometimes you gotta help it along a little bit. And you always wanna keep track of which side was sticking out because at the end we're gonna compensate, but I'm gonna get to that part later. And we just wanna stir it up. Stirring spaghetti can be a very relaxing situation. I remember when I was a kid growing up, my friend Justin and I wanted to make a roller coaster. So we started saving money by putting our lunch money in a shoe box. And after about six months, we had a couple hundred dollars in there. But it turns out that my friend Justin's sister's boyfriend had found the shoe box and he stole the money to pay for an abortion. Okay, this is looking just about ready. So the first end to go in has already been cooking for 12 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that and we're just gonna drape the end over the side of it and give the other end another minute to catch up. So in the interest of time, we're just gonna go ahead and list the next 97 tips. But I hope these tips help you not only to make better pasta, but also to just find more joy in your life.